Is nail polish toxic? Yes. I've actually had to remake this video a, a number of times because I keep discovering things. Um, my initial understanding was that we really wouldn't be absorbing many chemicals um, through our nail bed. Most of that absorption was through the cuticle. However, there's now been a number of studies showing that we do absorb some of the chemicals from nail polish through the nail bed and they show up in people's bodies. So every single type of nail polish is uh, basically in a, a type of acrylic polymer, okay? It is a type of plastic. And ultimately, that is going to leach micro plastics when it breaks off and chips off of your finger. However, within that plastic, there's lots of different chemicals that we know to be hazardous to our health, okay? A lot of companies use different flame retardants to actually make um, nail polish more flexible. I found that when people paint their nails, they find higher amounts of those chemicals in their urine. It looks as though around 50 to 75 percent come from inhaling it while applying it. After it dries, it doesn't really look like it's going to be an inhalation risk. However, they did do a study where they had women put nail polish on their fingers and, and then paint a fake hand with nail polish, right? And sure enough, the women that have the paint, the nail polish on their fingers have higher amounts of those chemicals in their bodies. A lot of nail polishes out there, they're gonna say like, oh, we're TPHP free, but then they're just replacing that one kind of chemical with a different one that does the exact same thing to your body. This is a classic case of regrettable substitutions. I personally have not found a nail polish that I can trust. Even nail polishes out there that say they're non-toxic, when I've looked and then actually Googled each ingredient, like they're all bad. So whatever you can do to limit the amount that you keep putting on your body, it does look as though um, the most amount of chemicals that are absorbed through the nail bed, it looks like that tapers off after the first day or two. So if you're painting your nails every day, that's really bad. But if you're painting your nails once a month, right? Like gel manicures once a month, like you wouldn't be absorbing it as much. So what I would say, is number one, if you're gonna do your nails, um, do it with something where you're not gonna have to paint your nails very often, right? So get a gel manicure, get something where you're not having to paint it all the time. Number two, wherever you do get it done, um, whether it's at home or in a salon, make sure it is very well ventilated. It leads to cancer and infertility and lots of other issues. You just want to make sure that you're not breathing those in. And then thirdly, do try and keep it away from other parts of your skin as much as possible. I don't trust any nail polish out there that says that it's non-toxic. They're all toxic, but just try and not get it done as often.